match each graph to the correct component. Let's start with the center one. We have a graph of current flowing through the component versus the potential difference applied across the component. And think of potential difference as the, the push force or the pressure which is trying to push the charge through. Uh, another name for potential difference is voltage. So that's measured in volts. Current is measured in amps. Whenever you get a line that is a straight line on a graph going through the origin of the graph, this is a directly proportional relationship. It means that if you double one quantity, if you double the voltage, then you'll double the current going through the component. If you triple the potential difference of voltage, you'll triple the current. And if we had reverse voltage, if we had it going in the negative direction, then you would get a reverse current. And the component for which this is true for is the resistor. The resistor. As long as you are at a constant temperature. OK, let's take a look at this curvy graph here. And this is the curve for a lamp. So it's this one. Why is it curvy? Well, as you increase the potential difference across the lamp, the filament gets hotter and hotter. And as the filament gets hotter, its resistance increases. And that means we get less current being able to flow through it. It doesn't increase as much. And this is not a directly proportional graph. It's the reason we get a curve is because the filament is heating up. And obviously, if you reverse the, the voltage, the same thing will happen. But in reverse, our current will flow backwards. Just a mirror image. So that leaves our last component, which is a diode. A diode. It's a type of semiconductor. And current is only allowed to flow in the direction of the arrow. You have to think, think of the diode as a door and that you have to push a little bit on the door to open it up. And so this point here is where suddenly the diode switch is on when we've got enough potential difference across it. It's usually only about well, just under a volt that's needed. And then suddenly it switches on and well, hey, we are now operational. We can let current flow through. But if we try to put current in the other direction by applying a potential difference in the negative, trying to push it, push current that way, we'll find that we don't get any current flowing. We may get a small trickle going backwards. That's indicated by that small line going underneath the graph, but not much. Diodes help protect sensitive electronic equipment where if the current flowed in the other direction, it might, it might damage that equipment. So there we are, three components with their current potential difference graphs.